It's like one of those sorry-ass company parties where even a Sato can join midway. Pretty lame attempt at bonding, hum? Ugh. What the hell are you saying about my company? Sato, why are you here at a big corporate event? Huh? My name is Keiichi Sato. I work in the sales department at the headquarters of Day's Lunch, a major nationwide lunchbox chain. That day was the retirement party for Mr. Uemura, who had been showing me the ropes since I joined the company. Thanks for all your hard work, Mr. Uemura. Yeah, you've really put in your time. We're going to miss you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I might swing by the office again sometime. The woman next to me is Nagisa Yotsuya. She's in the same sales department as me, and she's one of the folks who Mr. Uemura has helped out over the years. As we all chatted and reminisced about work with Mr. Uemura, the atmosphere got lively. Hey, isn't that Sato? What a coincidence. Huh? Kuroki. His name is Kuroki. He works at Black Ham, the meat processing company where I worked before. He was actually one of the reasons I ended up leaving there. A drinking party, huh? Well, well. It's like one of those sorry-ass company parties where even a Sato can join midway. Pretty lame attempt at bonding, huh? Ugh, what the hell are you saying about my company? I couldn't care less about myself, but dissing my company? That's crossing the line. Weren't you just happier working under my wing? No, that's not possible. So he's Keiichi's former colleague. What a rude person. Um, I don't know who you are, but isn't that quite rude to say out of the blue? Well... Let's just calm down, both of you. Let the ones who want to speak, speak. If you say so. Uh, okay. Mr. Kuroki, have you said enough? Humph. Well, do enjoy yourselves as much as you can. Oh, but I guess it won't be much fun drinking with Sato, will it? <laughs> uh. Keiichi, about the person who caused a scene at Mr. Uemura's retirement party the other day... Ah, uh, you mean Kuroki. What's he like? He's a terrible person who used to boss around newcomers in my previous job. Asked by Nagisa, I recounted the way Kuroki behaved at his previous workplace. His approach was selfish to the core. He dumped his own tasks on others, and when newcomers started performing well, he'd claim their success as his own, as if it were a given. You got this contract because of my advice, right? Kuroki would ask. And we, along with other colleagues, would often stay silent, letting him take the credit. At first, we challenged him a few times. But gradually, we began to feel like it was pointless to say anything to him. His attitude at that drinking party was pretty haughty too, wasn't it? Sounds like he's just a real jerk after all. Yeah, that's why leaving there was the right call. I never wanted to see him again. But to run into him at that drinking event? That sucks. Keiichi... Don't let it get to you. You're part of Day's Lunch now, right? You're right. My past job is in the rearview mirror now. I'm all about the work in front of me. It's fulfilling, and everyone here is so kind. Keiichi, that's because you yourself are kind, you know. Huh? R really? Yes, you are. <sighs> Kindness is something that makes you want to repay. Remember? Your act of kindness gave you the chance to join this company, right? Well, that was just a coincidence. I happened to be there at the time. A few months ago, shortly after I left Blackham, I happened to witness Mr. Uemura getting into a motorcycle accident right in front of the headquarters. I hurried to call an ambulance and help him, but Nagisa was also there and quickly contacted the headquarters. Thanks to my immediate response, Mr. Uemura didn't suffer any serious injuries. And then, when Mr. Uemura found out that I had lost my job at the time and was looking for work, If you're having trouble finding a job, would you like to work with us? If you're up for it, I can talk to the higher-ups here on your behalf. Thanks to his offer, I'm now working here at Day's Lunch. And then, a month after Mr. Uemura's retirement party, I got invited to the wedding of Tatsuya, the son of the president who works in the same sales department as me. Man! Today's been hectic with all the big shots from various connections showing up. But you know what? Having you guys here to celebrate my wedding is the best. 
Tatsuya, despite being the boss's son, is surprisingly down to earth and always treating me and Nagisa equally without any airs. Congratulations on your marriage, Tatsuya. We're thrilled to be here celebrating your special day. That was when we were soaking in the joy of this wonderful celebration. Sato, why are you here at a big corporate event? Huh? Kuroki? Well, why are you here then? What are you talking about? Black Ham's been trying to land day's lunch as a client for ages. But seriously, why are you here? Why? Because I work for day's lunch. You work there? How on earth did you manage to get in? Probably just got in through connections, huh? Well, it's... I decided to explain to Kuroki about the incident involving Mr. Uemura, starting from there. After hearing the situation, Kuroki snickered and said, Hmm, just sheer luck, isn't it? Don't get carried away, thinking it's because of your skills or anything. You lucked out, that's all. I'm not getting carried away or anything. Excuse me, you're Mr. Kuroki, right? Sure, Keiji might have lucked into joining our company, but our sales department doesn't cut anyone slack just because of that, you know. Exactly. Please don't badmouth the ace of our team, okay? You guys... Keiji's been busting his butt more than anyone else. So both Tatsuya and I can't just sit back if someone's throwing ridiculous shade at him. Yeah, exactly. I know firsthand that even with a connection, there's still plenty of struggle involved in joining a company. Damn. Feeling really validated hearing them say that. Hey, listen up, Sato. You only got into day's lunch thanks to luck. Just because you managed to switch to a big company doesn't mean you're better at the job than me. Get too full of yourself and you'll end up in trouble. Got it? With that parting shot, Kuroki left our group. Despite this little altercation, Tatsuya's wedding started as planned. Tatsuya's wedding was a grand affair. There were various gifts prepared for the bride and groom, including vintage luxury wines. This wedding reception is absolutely lovely. They're shining. That's right. Speaking of which, are you interested in getting married or something, Keiji? Huh? Well, um... Oh, maybe... Do you already have someone in mind? <laughs> nah, nothing like that. Unfortunately. I see. Hmm? Sato, can't believe he's casually attending a wedding like this. As if he earned his position through merit. Can't just take it lying down. Isn't there something to embarrass him? Phew, must have had a bit too much to drink. Well, they say a good drink never makes you drunk. Just as I returned from the restroom, something unexpected happened. Oops. Whoa! Ah. Tatsuya's wine. I just wanted to trip him up, but he ended up shattering the bottle of vintage wine meant for Tatsuya's gift. Well, this works out nicely. Oh man, the special vintage wine is ruined. They set it up for this occasion, right? This stuff costs a fortune, you know. Sato, you better be able to compensate for it, right? No, you tripped me, okay? That's why this happened. Huh. You trying to blame me for your screw-up? Come to think of it, even at your previous job, you tried to pin things on me like this. I was just being honest about what you did. You were always trying to pin your own mistakes on us newcomers. What did you say? Right at the moment when Kuroki and I were about to get into an argument, Tatsuya, who was nearby, approached us. Mr. Kuroki, it was you who set everything up against Keiji, right? I've been watching everything from the beginning, you know. Uh, what are you talking about? Stop making baseless accusations. I didn't trip him or anything. What's going on? Why did that expensive wine bottle get shattered? Isn't that guy one of Blackham's salesmen? He seems to have deliberately tripped someone named Sato. 
That's not true. I didn't do anything. He's the one who broke it. Hmm. So, you're not willing to admit it, huh? So, are you willing to drop the contract with our company? The one you've been pushing for so hard lately. What? Why would it have to be like that? This issue isn't related to our contract, is it? It's not unrelated at all. Don't you think working with someone who insists their viewpoint is right, despite doubts from the business partner, won't lead to good results? But that's a whole different issue. Patsya is right. Even in situations where we need to compromise and find common ground, you always seem to insist on your own opinion. Nagisa, now that I think about it, he had similar issues at my last workplace too. Newcomers under Kuroki kept quitting. What? <laughs> that was because you newcomers were selfish. My instructions should have been correct. You even said that? Who won't even try to listen to others? But still, it's a fact that Sato broke the wine bottle, isn't it? He's solely responsible for this whole incident. Ah, <sighs> Are you still trying to make it worse? Keiichi is our employee. Don't you think blaming someone from your client's company will ultimately lead to the collapse of the deal? Uh, well, that's... Kuroki, you should really reflect on your actions. Talking trash about unfamiliar companies at the Izakaya, or pulling sneaky pranks like faking coincidence on such a special day. Sh shut up! I didn't fake it. Tripping you was just an accident. It was pure chance that your foot caught mine. I'm telling you. Huh? Didn't you deny tripping him earlier? Isn't your story changing? <sighs> well, anyway, Sato doesn't belong here. Why is he even here? He hasn't done anything notable. This event's for people who have made a name for themselves, you know? Well, well... As Kuroki mentioned, not only Day's lunch-related companies, but also many industry bigwigs attended the wedding. At that moment, a familiar voice called out to us from behind. That's not quite right, Mr. Kuroki. Mr. Uemura. Long time no see. Yeah, a long time indeed. Sorry I'm late, the train was delayed. I'm glad you made it here safely. Anyway... I couldn't ignore what was said earlier. Saying Sato isn't suitable for this occasion. Actually, he's a bit out of his league for this occasion, isn't he? Out of his league? You don't get to decide that. And honestly, someone holding a personal grudge at a wedding doesn't seem to belong here. Ugh. I understand what Kuroki is saying. When I first joined, there were indeed many capable people around. But, ever since I joined Day's lunch, I've been all in on my work with no distractions. That's what brought him to where he is now. I also admire your dedication. Huh? Well, setting the contract aside for now, I'll send a claim to Blackham Company about the wine situation then. With legit reason, alright? Why would you do that? Because you came here as an employee of Blackham in the first place, right? So... It's the company's responsibility to hold you accountable for your actions during work hours. Cause I don't recall inviting you personally. That means in the end, the company's gonna find out about all this, isn't it? I was thinking if you apologize to Keiichi, I might let it slide. But it's too late now. Tatsuya. Ooh. After that, as he promised, he sent a claim to Blackham for the wine which was worth millions of yen. It looks like they had to rethink the contract stuff again. Back at the office, rumors had it that Kuroki faced a severe reprimand from the higher-ups at Blackham, and ended up in the same position as a new recruit. Seems like because he never owned up to his mistakes, he ended up even worse off. One day, after the commotion with Kuroki had settled down, I was taking a lunch break with Nagisa. Keiichi, that lunchbox is still in the prototype stage, right? Yes, the development team asked me to help with leftover disposal. It also saves on lunch expenses, so it's killing two birds with one stone. That sounds nice. I'd like to try it too. Huh? 
Oh, come on. Feed me. Sure. With my heart pounding at Nagisa's beautiful face, I reluctantly reach for the chopsticks to feed her. Thanks for watching to the end. And please subscribe to our channel.